Hi everyone, welcome to Science Tutorial for You. In this video, I'm going to describe sexual and asexual reproduction. Reproduction is when species produce their own kind. This is done in order to pass their genetic information to the next generation. And such reproduction can happen either by sexual or asexual, depending on the species. So, on this side, I'm going to describe sexual reproduction, and this side, I'm going to describe asexual reproduction. In sexual reproduction, two organisms are involved. These two organisms will produce gametes. Sperm and eggs are called gametes. Sexual reproduction happens in mammals and sperm and egg undergo fertilization. Let me draw a diagram to show this. So, we have a sperm with 23 chromosomes and an egg, 23 chromosomes. So that's sperm, that's the egg. The sperm and the egg fuse together in a process known as fertilization. And when the egg get fertilized by the sperm, a fertilized egg is made and this fertilized egg is called zygote. The 23 and the 23 when combined together makes up 46 chromosomes. The zygote grows into an embryo and then the embryo into a fetus then as a child. This child will have a characteristics of both parents, half from the mother and half from the father. And the reason why Sexual reproduction does this is in order to increase genetic variation. So I'm going to write this increases genetic variation. And this method of increasing genetic variation is an advantage. Okay, now why is it important to increase? genetic variation and why such process is an advantage. If the genetic variation is increased, then the species can adapt to the changing environment. If a species can adapt to a changing environment, then this increases their chance of survival. And if an organism can survive, then it can pass its gene to the next generation and so such population will increase and has less chance of becoming extinct. Only sexual reproduction can increase genetic variation. Asexual reproduction cannot increase genetic variations. Okay, now let's compare asexual reproduction. The word asexual means only one parent is involved in producing offspring. So only one parent. So unlike sexual reproduction where two organisms are involved, one producing sperm and the other one producing egg and fusing together, over here there is no such process of fertilization. So the offsprings made from the original species is called clone. The clone will be identical to the to the parent and the reason is because it contains identical genes so clone is known as identical dna or identical genes an example where asexual reproduction happen is bacteria and certain plants an example of this plant would be strawberry plant Another example of asexual reproduction is mitosis. And mitosis happen in growth and repair of damaged tissue. Mitosis is a type of cell division. In asexual reproduction, I mentioned that there are no gametes, so therefore there is no fertilization. 
If there is no fertilization, then there is no genetic variation. Having no genetic variation is a disadvantage. And the reason why is because the species can become extinct. The reason why they can become extinct is because there is no genetic variation. If there is no genetic variation, they cannot adapt to the changing environment. So the population decreases and they will eventually become extinct. So this is the comparison between sexual and asexual reproduction. Thank you for watching science tutorial for you. I hope this was helpful. If you like it, please like, subscribe and comment and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.